Here we go. It's the match made in hell. <laughs> Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior taking on all three members of the Triangle of Terror. And Hulk Hogan says this match here tonight is... Look at Hulk Hogan. Whoa! Hogan really taking it to Sergeant Slaughter. Big shot. Slaughter's down. Back to his feet, but whoa. Maybe not for long. Oh, another shot from outside. They have got Sergeant Slaughter really near the big one. Yes! Oh, man! And now taking it to Adnan and Mustafa. Hulk Hogan on a roll here, but he tags out. Watch this double clothesline! Incredible action! Warrior and Hogan. Slaughter's down. The question is, can he get back up? And he does it one more time. Look at the pressure being applied to the back and neck. Ultimate Warrior is just so dangerous. This match has swayed his way very quickly here. Folks, coming in October exclusively on pay-per-view, don't miss Hulk Hogan, a real American story. Now that will be a hot ticket. From what I'm told, it traces Hulkster's rise to dominance here in the WWE. I can't wait to see it. Oh, that's kind of hurt. He drops the elbow. Later tonight, the man who the ultimate warrior forced into retirement, Randy Savage, says, I do to the lovely Miss Elizabeth. Oh, what a match made in heaven those two are. My sincerest congratulations to the future Mr. and Mrs. Savage. And if I remember correctly, this will be the first wedding here in WWE since October of 1985. Oh, I remember that one well. Saturday night's main event, Uncle Elmer and his bride, Joyce. You know, I still have nightmares over that kiss they had. Please, you two, get a room. Oh, look at the emotion. Man, ultimate warrior. What offense. He's going to take a chance here. Wow, perfectly executed. He's got him up. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. These two teams have been at odds dating all the way back to earlier this year when Sergeant Slaughter defeated the Ultimate Warrior for the WWE title. Yeah, well, luckily the Hulkster was able to bring the WWE Championship back to glory, back to America, when he beat Slaughter for the title at WrestleMania 7. But as we've learned, that is not where the story ends. Despite losing the title, Slaughter and his Triangle of Terror have remained a force in the WWE. And their chief targets, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. Now they certainly wreaked havoc in recent weeks, but it doesn't look like Warrior or Hogan are intimidated by the Triangle of Terror. A quick scoop slam! Oh, Kogan laying into him. No, not again! And did you hear the impact on that kick? What a tackle! And down he goes! Nice dodge there. One of these days, Slaughter will wake up and realize all the wrong he's done of late. You'd have to think that there's a conscience in there somewhere, right, Cole? No, even if he does, King, would his country take him back after all that he's done? That's the big question. And to be honest, I don't know the answer to that. Man, that one rocked him.
Imagine how awesome was that? Extra slow getting back to his base here. Interesting stat. This is the fourth SummerSlam and the fourth straight year that either Hulk Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior have competed in the main event. They certainly are experienced in main events. But even more impressive, neither man has lost a SummerSlam match. Six matches in all, six wins. Well, but on the flip side, this is the first SummerSlam match for Sergeant Slaughter. You have to wonder if that inexperience will cost him here tonight. I don't think so, Ken. Slaughter's a veteran and a former WWE champion. He's accustomed to competing in big-time environments like this one. All the little Hulksters in attendance here in New York City remember the role General Adnan played in burning that Hulk Hogan t-shirt a few months back. And now it's payback time, King. Both Warrior and Hogan have long memories. They haven't forgotten how despicable Adnan is. Neither have the fans. They're chomping at the bit here. They want to see Adnan get his. Ouch! That'll change how you sit in a hurry. Oh, Sergeant Slaughter is the brains of this operation. He's the one you need to be careful of. Sergeant Slaughter's a traitor. What? He can't get enough of a beating if you ask me. Well, be that as it may, Slaughter is as dangerous as they come. And his triangle of terror has been running roughshod here in the WWE. Ultimate Warrior is getting ready here. That's it. He's done. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? He was one step ahead on that one. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. Eyes on Sergeant Slaughter is an unbelievable force. But when you add General Adnan and Colonel Mustafa to the mix, it's damn near unstoppable. Yeah, adding Mustafa was such a game changer for Slaughter. Not only is he a brick of a man. And look at Hogan. Hogan looks to be setting up to finish this match. There's that big boot. And now Adnan and Mustafa want to get involved. But here comes Ultimate Warrior. This thing's getting out of control, Michael. That special referee Sid better do something here. Warrior going. What's Warrior doing? Who Whoa. knows? He's got a steel chair. Look at this. He's chasing that down and Mustafa out of here. Oh no, you got to, you gotta be kidding me. And Slaughter's down again. What's gonna happen next? You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. time he has to get up, it's Hogan delivering crippling punishment. Man, sock shoulders down. Two, three, it's over. Hogan and Warrior with a victory here tonight. Oh, we said it was a match made in hell, and hell is what it took to win. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life.